All right, so another one of my uh, close to favorites are Goldman Sachs. Um, I love banks. I think banks end up just kind of being on top of the world. If things go well, banks do amazingly. Things go badly, they get bailed out by government. <laughs> so either way, you're just like, I'm good. Anyway, so they're obviously um, Goldman Sachs, slightly smaller than JP Morgan. It used to be huge, like bigger than JP Morgan. I think uh, Jamie Dimon's done an amazing job from JP Morgan growing JP Morgan um, the way that he has. Um, but hey, Goldman Sachs is still a huge company, a huge bank. They've got uh, $205, stuck a 1.72, so it's slightly below the inflation, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, you know, it's, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, the company is safe. It's also backed by the U.S. government. So you're kind of getting in going, ah, I want pure safety. They've profitable. Um, they've got good management effectiveness. They made almost 40 billion in cash. I mean, sorry, in revenue. Um, their gross profit is 30 billion. Their net income is 6 billion. Um, they've got 710 billion in cash. And their debt is 464. So they've got enough in cash to pay off their debt, basically, or to at least liquidate it. And still to be left with, uh, 200 plus billion in cash so you know they'd survive um yeah i mean you don't have really that much more to say outside of the exact same things i wanted to say that i would have said with with jp morgan so that would be redundant so you can choose between jp morgan and goldman sachs personally i just like jp morgan more but i uh, i would uh, i've got both jp morgan goldman sachs and morgan stanley I've got three banks. I'm just like banks will at the end be in charge. Um, they will there. They will. They they are going to be there. They are going to be the first. They're going to force economies to do what's expected to be done. So, I've got a lot of money in banks. Even the national, I've got ABSA. That's really about it. But in the U.S., I've got J.P. Morgan. I've got Goldman Sachs. I've got Morgan Stanley. I sold my Bank of America stock. But um, the point here is. I want, I like the idea of um, stocks and stocks because they, 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 they stuck. The other thing though is um, you may think that Goldman Sachs is a bit expensive, but the pair ratio is 28. JP Morgan was 47, almost double, right? Um, Goldman, so in a way, imagine, I mean, if they were to double it, Goldman Sachs would be looking at Instead of a 1.7, they'd be looking at a 3.4. So, yeah, I mean, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna get again to a point to look at what the dividend policy is, whether they've grown the 28 percent over the couple of years or not, and then to see what the growth aspect is of Goldman Sachs. If they've grown it from 10 to 28 over X number of years. Um, they're probably going to get to a point where they then convert and they start focusing more on increasing their payout ratio like JP Morgan did at 47% rather than, um, yeah. So if they increase it to like a 56, 60% um, and they're just like, we're stable now, you're going to be a lot, making a lot more on, on those um, dividends. The stock is very expensive though at $290 a share. But again, yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so yeah, man, just look into it. Cheers. Please subscribe, share, and the thumbs up. Thank you. Oh, let's check something else. Oh, these are financial documents. Oh, these are the dividends. Okay, just a quick example of what we, of what we're looking at, right? So imagine in the year two, 2010, right? We're pretty much growing around 2010. Because if we go back to 2000, um, things would hurt. Um, uh, if, we were, if we were to go back to 2000, it would be like 12 cents. It would be like, ah, 12 cents. And now it's at, uh, it's 10x, it's dividends. Right. So that, that, that doesn't go down well. So let's go down to 2010, where we all pretty much knew what we were doing in life somewhat. It's at 35 cents. Let me let me quickly also state that it's 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 thirty five 
cents it's actually yeah it's one dollar it's one dollar forty because it's thirty five cents over per quarter so uh the the point I'm raising this is thirty five cents in twenty ten ten years later it's at one dollar twenty five right um if ten if ten years later it's at one dollar twenty five i mean that's what is that that's uh what was that like a three x is it uh seven four x it's almost yeah it's a three it's a three it's a three times it's a three or so x in about 10 years so again now take this one dollar seventy one dollar yeah take this one dollar seventy is it one dollar seventy oh it's about five dollars sorry five dollars so take this five dollars and three x that's fifteen dollars right well, it's fifteen dollars or oh, three x that takes you to about three dollars seventy five three dollars seventy five a quarter <coughs> that brings it to about fifteen dollars a year um that seems like nothing until you 30 exits and it seems like something so again another nice stock to to put your money into um it's got some nice dividends so it's something to consider i'm not going to go through the income statement and everything else you can do that but we are just gonna say this growth that's about it anyway please do click the subscribe the share thumbs up and promote this 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 these videos and just get to a point where people are, are watching such videos where they're able to learn about companies and realize that investing doesn't necessarily investing is important it can be fun and investing doesn't mean that um I need to go and buy some random private company or that I need millions and millions. You can just start investing slowly but surely and you can just add money in. Um, there's other weird ideas. You can you can you can do like a stock failure and investing kind of thing. Put money in and just kind of grow it from there. You have an investment. People have done this by the way overseas. Way back. Where people pulled money in. Um, obviously you've got to trust and know each other and obey rules, but put money in. We have an investment procedure. Excuse me, we have an investment process that we follow, we have a criteria that we follow, and and these were old guys, by the way, that we're doing, so it's not like it's these, it's these, like, young, these were, like, grandpas that were basically doing this, and they had, like, an investment club, so, I mean, imagine doing that at, like, the age of 25, and by the age of 60, you're gonna have, like, a massive group, a group of Warren Buffett's, anyway, I digress, um, Please do press the subscribe button, the share, and the thumbs up. Um, apparently, the thumbs up helps the algorithm. So, please press the thumbs up. So, it kind of helps the algorithm. So, the video spreads a bit more so that more people can watch it. You know, so it helps. And then also, please share it. Um, when you're sharing it, obviously, more people are going to view it. And more people can acknowledge the important information that these videos do give in terms of education. Um, because a lot of people not educated in the stuff, not educated formally, but just educated. You know, there's millions of people that don't even know that easy equities exist. There's millions of people that don't realize that you can invest overseas. There's millions of people that assume that investments are for people that drive and have Mercedes and have rich parents and so on. So we need to break that stereotype. And one of the ways that we can do that is obviously by sharing videos that we find that allow people to realize that what they think is needed is not what they just need to do is to start and then they can grow it and we can change the world anyway I don't want to I want to make sure that every video of mine is less than 10 minutes so thank you once again please do click the subscribe the share and the thumbs up thank you very much enjoy your day